definitely uh, now I'm looking forward also to hear what uh, Andrea Marchesani has to tell us. Andrea, you have to go. Uh, good evening to everyone. Thanks, Michel. Thank you for a uh, job. Uh, for this opportunity, I, I will I will go in a journey between the Laudato Si, the Catholic social teaching, and with a small parenthesis on the human trafficking in the digital world, as Father Baggio said just a few minutes ago. So, as you can see in my first slide, you can see that there are many formal public declarations of the popes, and also in the Bible, in the Old and the New Testament, we can find some uh, declaration and some uh, sentences on human trafficking. So we can start from the from the Bible, from the Prophet Isaiah to St. Paul, and arriving also in the in 500, 600 years ago, where the Pope the Pope say already that all the people were capable of faith and so of, and salvation. So they were speaking about the human dignity, and this. Papal declaration were excommunicating slavers and traffickers. Uh, after, in, in, in the recent days, we had uh, John, Pope John Paul II defining a shocking offense, or Pope Benedict the scourge of trafficking, and Pope Francis many times he focused on, on human trafficking as a consequence of, of the system. Of self of self of the of this economic system and society. So uh, speaking about the, the the Catholic social teaching, what was the Catholic social teaching is is to bring salvation and freedom to temporal realities. And so I think that this fits human trafficking perfectly. And because if we can take um, to as example Christ, we have his incarnation in a real family, in a historic society, and we have his public life where he was preaching. So the faith is not a private, it doesn't stay in a private dimension, but regards all the dimension, the social and political dimension and economic dimension of, of, of the human being. And so from this public speaking, Reach of Christ, you can do the second slide where you go, you can see the Tintoretto mm -hmm. uh, painting of Christ preaching to the multitudes, and where we can analyze what the Catholic social teaching tell us about uh, about what is the man and what is the dignity of man. And so the the the, the Catholic social teaching is the was called before the Christian philosophy by Pope Leo mm -hmm. the Thirteenth. And so it's, it's set in the in the Bible, in the Gospel, and we can go to Genesis, where the man is created as an, an image of God, Imago Dei. And from here we have the human dignity that's unviolable and the transcendency of the natural moral norm. So what is the good, the bonum for the man is the, the integral fulfillment and his dignity. And from this, let's call it, Bon, the bonum, we have the social dimension of this, uh, of this, uh, of this bonum that is the common good. And the common good, as Saint Thomas uh, tells us, is of everyone and each person. So it's indivis indivisible and is for everyone and is a relation. So uh, refers to the to the uh, political and the social life of men. So if there is a private a moral good, there is a, there is a social and a, a social dimension of this moral good. And this is the connect to the integral human development where the dignity of every man is respected in every context. So the political, the economic, the social. Yeah. So uh, the, the, this Christian philosophy, the, the Catholic social teaching is, uh, uh, was, uh, inaugurated by Pope Leo, and he, he tries to solve, uh, to bring that uh, salvation in the temporal realities in every different uh, time from different popes. So we have different, uh, we have the ma social uh, magisterium that are the in encyclical letters and the documents of the Pope that are focused on the social 
uh, issues and interpreting them with the, with the theological dimension, with the gospel. So among these, uh, we have many of these were for, for labors at the beginning. And after uh, there is a, of course, there is an evolution, uh, like, like the, the new challenges in the social, in the society. So among these, there is the Laudato Si, that is the theme of today. And as you can see, this is the Laudato Si, and I chose to use the, the, the Sistine Chapel paintings to, to, to explore Laudato Si. So the three main, uh, the most famous, so the creation of Adam, the creation of Eva, and the original sea. So I will do that with a little bit of artistic license because I will start from the central point that is the creation of, of Eve with, uh, with Adam uh, just next to her. And we, we see that uh, in the, cre the creation is a, in the creation, Adam and Eve are put in the garden, are placed in the garden together, and there is a relation between God, the human being, uh, the two of them, and the creation. So, uh, as in Genesis, we read, it's not, the good, it's not good for the man to be alone, and they are placed in the garden to cultivate and care, not to dominate, just to dominate the garden. So, Laudato Si tells us that it's not just an ecological, but it's an integral, syntical, because it, it tells us about these relations between God, the human being, and the creation. So, uh, as we will see later with the with the with our with the issue of human trafficking, we start with the the, the possession and the use and abuse of other people, and it all starts when the the human being tries to be like the god, uh, and from the humility that is preached in the Laudato Si by the, by Pope Francis, we have the pride. So uh, from this pride and the try to be to get the knowledge of God and that we can call it the, the techniques to to possess the environment to possess other people we have the original sin that is always a social sin because every sin has an implication and an influence for on the life of other people and here we have the 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 goal, the, the, the a human being that believes to be like God and to not have limits and to possess the creation. And from here we have the economy and the culture of waste. Um, so, and in Laudato Si, Pope Francis uh, guides us in a, in, a, in, a, in a journey from this, from the original sin to the relativism, because as the man declares the independence from reality and to be the uh, for the the new lord of creation, uh, we start. He starts to be to think of himself and herself at the center, and so the new priority is not in that relation we talked before, but is the his convenience, the priority of his uh, pleasures, and everything and everyone and the environment and the creation and other people became relative. So from this we have uh, we have human trafficking comes from this, and when someone takes advantage of another, and there is the commodification that Father Baggio uh, told us before, the commodification as commodification as we use other people as objects for many kind of trafficking, like sexual exploitation, organ trafficking. Uh, and this and uh, slave labels of many forms. So uh, from this communication, that this commodification and exploitation uh, violates the dignity of the imago dei we talked before. And if we have, uh, if slavery always exists in the history, today we have a different dimension with the technology and with the. Uh, the new philosophy, the new philosophical revolutions of the modernity, where there is a very strong anthropocentrism, and the technologic uh, development is huge and many times not controlled, and there are no limits. 
and the Pope tells us about the globalization of the technocratic paradigm, where the relativism that we, we, we the relativism of before is in, con, in conjunction with this technocratic paradigm and brings uh, that uh, use of other people or of the creation as more also to be more stronger and stronger, like in the in the digital world where the technological means brings not just to the abuse but to spread that abuse being filmed uh, to be around the world so the victim is not just abused the first time where the where the movie that on internet was was uh, shot but also many times in many places also later um, in uh, in this context of the digital world we and connected also to the pandemic we have the lockdown phenomenon just to be brief and to make some example where many many victims were in lockdown with their abusers perpetrators and traffickers and uh, but not only in that may, may be difficult situation environments but also the human trafficking arrived also in our homes because uh, with this technological means that is very difficult to, to track to be tracked down by police force uh, people were uh, were uh, were con many times people very young people or people with many problems or difficult issues they were in contact in their house uh, with the with the with the internet so with the social media that every one of us use and uh, maybe they were found through the the, the social media of other people maybe uh, siblings or, or the parents or other relatives so uh, the this technology means a, a huge power and uh, an escalation of, of the phenomenon, because there is no need just to, there is no need only to traffic, but there is the, you can sell that abuse and that, uh, and, the, and the trafficking over many times uh, in many places. So uh, to arrive to, uh, to what is the new paradigm, to what we can do to solve this and to, to fight. So uh, is what uh, Pope Francis invite us to uh, to to do is to to stop to see and appreciate beauty and not to be possessed by the the, the dynamics and the rhythm of this uh, of this world. So we are called to an integral conversion, and an integral conversion means to 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 encounter. As Pope Francis told us in order to see to to encounter Jesus Christ and to re-enter in that relations that allow us to see uh, to allow to allows us to see and have compassion of others. Um, so uh, and we were talking about before about pride and here in this part of Lauda to see we have we, Pope Francis talks about humility. So the the opposite where we we leave behind our ego and we re-enter that uh, relations. So this is the, the, the from the, the creation of Eve and the, and the, and the original scene in the 60th chapter here, we have the creation of, of Adam, where uh, these, the two ends means the, the, to get back into in that relationship that is destroyed by our uh, ego or by our by our uh, selfishness so and uh, without here the Pope tells us a very important thing that the relations with God the, the relation is like always cannot be an element of this relation cannot be left outside like the creation the creator and the creatures uh, so they have always to be together otherwise uh, a, a relation without one of these these three elements is not is not the the the, the re relation that God 
a demand at the beginning and it, it becomes something else, something uh, many times ideological. So uh, this going back in the relations, this conversion brings us to the economy of care. Uh, so where uh, we the man re recognize the that is not autonomous as master of other people and of creation and just go back in that relation of in the, in the, in the interdependence that that brings us to a common project and the care for our common home and for the brothers and sisters so to as we said say before, to cultivate, as the Genesis say, to cultivate and care the creation. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea, for this very substantial intervention and your insights on the social teaching of the Catholic Church in order to see 